WBBL Talk Radio and now Springfield's favorite conservative and author of the well-selling book, Only Turkeys Have Left Wings, ladies and gentlemen, Birch Barlow. No, 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 guys. Now, I'm not very political. I usually think people who vote are a bit fruity. But for some reason, this Birch Barlow really speaks to me. You know, there, there, there are three things we're never going to get rid of here in Springfield. One, the bats in the public library. And three... Our six-term mayor, the illiterate, tax-cheating, wife-swapping, pot-smoking, spendocrat, Diamond Joe Quimby. Sounds awfully controversial. Lisa, you know I don't like controversy in this house. I don't like him either, Mom, but I'm doing a report on local politics for my school project. Mm, Bart, I wish you wouldn't lie like that. Bart Simpson has promised us a fireworks display. My friends, let's just junk those dumb ocrats and their bleeding heart smell fair program. Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? Oh, you can't take this anymore. Let's switch back. All right, my friends, let's go to the phones. First up is Bob from South Springfield. Welcome to you, sir. Hello, Birch. <gasps> that sounds like Sideshow Bob. Yes, ma'am. Sideshow Bob. Jacking it up on the old jackpot. When he got out, he married Aunt Selma and tried to murder her. Oh, Sideshow Bob. Bart, your mortal enemy is on the radio. Sideshow Bob? Oh, I'm only ten and I already got two mortal enemies. And uh, this proposed expressway will bring increased commerce to all local merchants. Bad luck! <laughs> well, uh, I suppose I could name it the, uh, Matlock Expressway. <laughs> You see, Birch, I'm presently incarcerated. Convicted of a crime I didn't even commit. <laughs> my, my, my friends, isn't this just typical? Another intelligent conservative here, railroaded by our liberal justice system. I am going to make it my mission to see that our friend Bob is set free. No! I want every loyal listener to do everything they can to get him out of jail. All right, you heard the man. Yeah. One grenade each. All right, give him back. Come on, everybody, give him back. Hey, hey! Who pulled the pin on this one? I well, hereby grant you a full and complete pardon. Congratulations, Robert Underdonk to Williger. Ah! Now then, gentlemen. The mayoral campaign is upon us. And if we hope to defeat this Joe Quimby, we need a candidate with name recognition and media savvy. Bob! Bob, come in! A fine mohawk to you all. Why, well, he's even better. I agree. I like the human touch. My opponent, Joe Quimby, is confused about your school system. Do you know what he does? He flip-flops. He wants to sell your future short. Hmm. Uncle Mayor was just saying that us kids are the most important natural resource we have. More important than coal? Uh, uh, yes. <gasps> Quimby, if you were running for mayor, he'd vote for you. Oh, uh, could I have some more bumper stickers, please, dude? I'll not only build the expressway, I will spend the remainder of this afternoon patiently listening to your interminable anecdotes. Hot chickety jam! Be fine! Hey, he'd say. Then be. See what usually follow. The League of Uninformed Voters presents the Springfield Mayoral Debates. I'm your moderator, Larry King. Ah, ah, shoo. I shouldn't have shaken hands with those old people. Mayor Quimby, you are well known, sir, for your lenient stance on crime.
And the results are in for Sideshow Bob, 100%. For Joe Quimby, 1%. And we remind you, there is a 1% margin of error. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah! It's the rapture! So sorry, Mr. Simpson. Your house is blocking construction of our new Matlock Expressway. I know what you're up to, Mayor Twigger, and no one in my family's gonna stand for it. <laughs> Move your god darn house, Doug! Well, yes, but not for four or five years. Bart, you're going to kindergarten. Kindergarten? <laughs> now, boys and girls, who knows what this is? We'll lose our house and end up living under a bridge like common trolls. I don't think Bob won that election legally. Here you go. <sighs> the results of last month's mayor election. Okay. Aaron A. Aronson voted for... Bob. Aaron L. Aronson voted for... Bob. <laughs> this is so cool, Bart. We're just like Woodward and Bernstein. You're on the right track. Follow the names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Smithers! Well, you might as well give me a ride home now. All I can do is give you one name, Edgar Neubauer. Find him and you'll find your answer. Hey. Please, please come here. I found him. I found Edgar Neubauer. Oh, my God. The dead have risen and they're voting Republican. Oh, my poor dead kitty. Please, not you too. All right, Bob. Now. It's personal. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, is it true you rigged the election? No, I did not. Kids help. Well, Bart, Lisa, here I am. I have a plan. I think we can trap him. Because we all know you're a naive pawn, puppet, if you will, of the most diabolical political genius Springfield has ever known, Virtual T. Barlow! Enough! Lies, lies, lies! I did it! I did it all! <gasps> there! Is that what you want, you smarmy little bastards? Only I could have executed such a masterpiece of electoral fraud. And I have the records to prove it. Here, just look at these. Each one a work of Machiavellian art. Let's place the mayor under arrest. What? Oh, yes. All that stuff I did. Marge, we did it. Now we get to keep our house and you get to go back to the fourth grade. Someday I'll have my vengeance. Someday, when I find my way out of this savage, roach-ridden cesspool. Shining star. 